So welcome back to Tech Disc Tuesday. If this is your first time tuning in, I'd recommend checking out our first episode right over here. To me, it's been three days and I'm coming back to the field to hone in on the consistency on my stock shots, as you may have done from home. In today's episode, we're gonna be first throwing together sets of 10 of each of our stock shots to gauge any improvements over the last few days. If our improvements are satisfactory and we're happy with our consistency, we're gonna actually move into taking the stock shot to the field. We're gonna be throwing our clockwise shots out on the field with our whole bag and seeing how the discs actually fly. I encourage everyone to hold yourself to a standard that makes sense for you. If you don't feel like your shot is consistent enough yet, then I encourage waiting. Continue to work on this into the net with the tech disc until you get your shot to where you want it to be. All right, we're gonna jump right into it. First, starting with our backhand right hand, which is our clockwise spinning shot. Speed, last time we averaged 58.6, so we wanna be around there. Heiser, we averaged 15, so that's gonna be kind of our target baseline. Things that I wrote down that I wanted to improve upon was the Heiser consistency and also the speed. Speed, we're off by 5.7 was our deviation. Heiser was 11.1 .1 degrees, so let's try to work on this. I think I'm throwing too hard now. I felt like that's right up. That's definitely too fast. Let's get around 15 hazard. Ah, not enough hyzer. I want to go again. That felt pretty good. Do your set till you're comfortable. So top of the screen we have our new throw set from what we did today. And on the bottom of the screen is from last Tech Disc Tuesday. So a little improvement on the hyzer consistency, but the speed's actually a bit worse. Our target here is 56.8 miles per hour, 21 degrees hyzer. That's what we had last time. The things we were trying to clean up was the spin deviation, the hyzer deviation, um, and that mainly just that. Jeez. That worked better. I feel like that's pretty good. See, I have a tendency with my left to go like this. I'm trying to break that habit. So that's why I'm using the pocket. I felt a little slower. I was focused so much on the... That had to be about everything right. I felt faster, slower, and the less hyzer, let's see. For the counterclockwise spin, the lefty backhand, we've pretty much improved in all categories. The launch angle's got a little bit worse than the nose angle, but I'm not too worried about those as of yet. I'm just gonna confidently try to keep these numbers about what they've been at, and we're gonna throw some real shots in the field. So let's get into that. Okay, so now we're gonna take what we just did. We got a pretty consistent shot. And uh, we're gonna move the net away and throw out into the field with our full bag. And the way we've arranged this, going from slow, fat, slow to fast, we got two wizards, pretty similar, kind of neutral to stable. Um, then we got two of these Proto 44s, same idea, pretty new, gonna have similar flights. One's a little more stable, that's fine. Then we got two of these six speed demons. Then we got two of these sabers, pretty similar. We got two of these assassins. A lot of these ones a little more beat than the other one, but it's totally fine. Um, then wild card one, not gateway, is uh, the Mint Phoenix. I think like really overstable Firebird, two of those. We got two 10 speed ninjas. We got two, okay, I guess my other one's over there, but two realms and two spells. For example, say I start with the wizards, I'm gonna throw both wizards, and then I'm gonna throw the tech disc into the net, make sure we're still about doing the same throw. And then I'm gonna go to the next set and just keep doing that so that we can make sure to the best of our ability that we're throwing our stock shots out there. We're gonna throw them all with the righty 
and then we're gonna come back, throw them all with the left ear. And uh, then we're gonna kind of map it out and we're gonna know how our discs fly. Okay, we're gonna start with our ready shots. Let's see if we're still throwing about the same. That's definitely weak. 58 and 20.6 hyzer. So that's actually perfect. So we're gonna throw it once more, make sure we still got it. 58.9. At 20.0, so we're right on the money for what we want. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go throw it out on the field, kind of towards that trash can out there, and just see how it flies. Starting with this hemp wizard. Breeze is a slight right to left, but not much. Well, I meant to uh, meant to throw it in between. Actually, no, I didn't. It's perfect. And that one is a little flippier, so that makes sense. All right, take this back online. Remember, we're looking for about 58 miles per hour, 20 degrees of hyzer. 58.4, 17.5 hyzer. It's not too bad. Let's throw one more. That one felt pretty close. Let me get my disc ready. 61.3. 14.4, okay. You know, I wouldn't be doing this right if I didn't throw another. That's too far off. That one feels about right, come on. 59.5, 18.2, that's good. Okay, a little wind off my right shoulder, but that's fine, these are really stable. That was it. Demon. I think I put that on more hyzer. Very good. Recalibrate. We'll be throwing sabers now. Starting with the least stable. Might have been more hyzer. Phoenix first. That one might have been a little harder, but. That should be it. Assassin. Try to go a little more right. I've been kind of pushing straight lately. If it does get fully over, that wind's probably gonna smack it down being right to left. Let's try again. That one's the newer one. So I, I arranged the fence on the left, it kind of extends. So that probably hit the fence around 365. I mean, I feel like I got it pretty dialed right now. Ninjas. Soared to that 340 fence. Again, I'm pushing that way. I, I forget, I told you I was gonna release the trash can and have not done that. Okay, moving to the uh, realm. Go out to the right so I got space. These are new realms, pretty stable. Everything in my body is telling me to throw them harder because they're distance drivers, but we're gonna develop our stuff. Spells, speed up spell. 
love the way these fly. Very predictable, not as much glide. Look at them, kind of spike. This one's a newer one. All right, I'm gonna get some ranges. Then we'll do this all with the opposite spin. Probably forehand for you. For me, I use a lefty because I had shoulder surgery back in 2012. All right, now that we've filmed the ready clockwise shots out there, we're gonna do the same exact thing for the lefty, throw the whole bag. First, let's get recalibrated. Okay, that's 58 at 21. So I think we'll target about 58 at around 20 something. Oh, it did, I guess, 54 and 29. Let's see if it gets this one. This one's 55 and 27 in the hyzer. Feels pretty good. Let's try one more. I'm gonna get that down about 25 hyzer. I think that's it. That's 58 at 23, okay. Different thing I'm gonna do with this one, I'm gonna throw the putters with fan grip. Okay, recalibrate. That's too much hyzer, I can tell. Let me just be sure. 54 at 28. Let's try to raise that speed until we got hyzer. 57, 23, good. Going to the Proto 44s. So we're gonna do a power grip now because these are really stable. This one even more stable. Very good. Too much hyzer. 56, perfect on speed. 35 hyzer, I could feel that. Here we go. I think that's too fast, but good hyzer, and I can take that in the next shot. 59 at 23, that's fine. Going with the demon. Gotta hold one, it feels a little weird. A little lower there. See, similar result though, even with the launch angle different. Too much hyzer, so a little more speed, a little less hyzer. Saber now, let's just see what it is. 53, so not too bad. A 25.1, okay. It's a little faster. Not bad. Should have pocket them. Pretty similar. Lands about right on top of each other. Felt pretty good. 57.1, 32 hyzer. Okay, a little less hyzer. Remember that here. I mean, that one, I pushed it a little more flat because that thing is so stable, but speed felt right. Try a little more hyzer. That had to be it. Felt about right, 30.2, okay. That is actually probably good for this assassin, but. Oh, too low. Just like I was saying, maybe just higher launch angle. Yeah, that's a finicky one with the left hand. That one felt pretty good, let's see. 55.8, 23.4, okay, ninja time. Pushing that 340 line. I think that was a little, not enough hyzer. 
Yeah, maybe it was. I'd have a similar flight. First one was just a little faster, went maybe 10 feet further. Let's see where that one is. What's great is when I'm throwing, all I'm thinking about is just throw my stock shot. I don't have to really look ahead. Obviously, it's an open fairway here, but trying to learn these flights and knowing when we need them on the course, it's going to be huge. Fifty-six point four, twenty-eight point two. So solid. Flip your spell going out. I uh, definitely threw that harder. That wind is also weird though. Got it over and it's kind of just a slant. So that's all my lefty throws. We're gonna go out there and measure. I put together this very rough sketch of the flights of all the shots. In the black are the righty backhand clockwise spinning shots. Each one depicts the average flight of each disc, except for the wizard, which I've decided to put both since one was a lot flippier than the other. In the red is the lefty counterclockwise spinning shots. As you can see here, we've got most shot shapes covered from about the 240 foot mark to the 350 foot mark, all throwing just our stock releases. You can imagine the aiming point in this directly in front of the T-pad. If you're to adjust that, you can also accomplish a lot of other landing zones that can be helpful on the course. I encourage you at home, once you're pretty comfortable throwing your stock shots, even if it is only throwing your righty backhand for now, trace out the flights of all your discs in your bag. And for next week, we're gonna start working on answering some of the holes in that diagram by adjusting the speed. We'll see you then. And hopefully I feel a little bit better.